A visit to the River State University Teaching Hospital shows a heavy presence of security. Armed security men have been drafted there to ensure that a suspected fail bomber who was severely injured after he attempted to detonate an explosive device near the popular Hotel Presidential does not escape while undergoing treatment. The incident was said to have occurred on Tuesday at about 9 a.m. local time during a protest march held by a political group from Obiakbo local government area. The suspect, who is yet to be identified, was quickly taken away by other protesters before the police arrived at the scene. An alert was subsequently put out to all public and private hospitals about the suspect, who ended up at the River State University Teaching Hospital. And so when a young man was brought to the River State University Teaching Hospital with alleged injuries sustained during what was said to be a road traffic accident. The medical personnel that were on hand to examine him and offer medical care were on alert and immediately recognized that the injuries that were seen on this individual were not in tandem with a road traffic accident and rather resembled injuries that would have come from blast. The Commissioner for Health, Dr. Adeziore, gives further details. The individual was taken to the theatre for immediate resuscitation because as at the time he was brought in, he was semi-conscious. But the medical personnel did the needful and immediately informed the River State Government, immediately informed the Commissioner for Police in River State and the River State Ministry of Health about the presence of that individual in the facility, even when providing emergency medical care to revive and resuscitate him. The police have cordoned off the section of the hospital where the suspected bomber is receiving treatment. No one is allowed to see him, except for members of the medical team assigned to administer treatment. Several individuals brought the patient. One is still with him. All the others immediately found their way out of the facility. But of course, like I said, we are working with the Nigerian police force and they will be carrying out their own investigative role. While the suspect is yet to be interrogated, the police is for now keeping a lead on the matter, saying that investigations are ongoing.